today we are going to talk about um, decorating the actual hoop after you finish your embroidery. Um, this one is just a plain old wood hoop and that looks fine, um, but we're creative people. We can jazz it up a little bit, right? So I'm going to show you a couple of ways to do that and hopefully you can find some use for it. So here we've got one that is wrapped in ribbon and tied off with a little bow. Here we have one that is wrapped in washi tape, which is pretty easy. And there's lots of patterns of this washi tape. And then this one is just straight up painted. So the painted one is pretty easy. I'm not going to show you how to do that because you're all smart people. You can figure this out. But I do want to share with you a couple of things. When you're painting your hoop, you're only going to paint the very outside edges. You're going to try as hard as you can to keep the paint from in here. And you want to use a high quality um, acrylic paint. Uh, we're going to try desperately to keep the paint from sliding off of our hoop onto our fabric. So you don't want to use a stain, you don't want to use oil. I'm going to use a high quality acrylic paint. I use golden for just about everything, um, so I always have paint around. And that one's pretty easy. And I would say let it dry for 24 hours before you um, put your embroidery in it. Now for the ribbon, and I really hope I have enough of this ribbon to go all the way around this hoop. couple of things. You want to get a sturdy ribbon that doesn't have like metallic bits or anything that's going to catch on your fabric when you rehoop it that's going to slide it. And you want to make sure, this is going to be really helpful, you don't have to do this but it'll be helpful, that your spool goes through your hoop because it'll help you with the wrapping. Trust me. <laughs> so what you'll need for this is some ribbon obviously in your hoop. Um, some clamps, you can use clothespins or um, like these uh, document clamps and some scissors. Now to start this out, you're going to check and see what kind of angle you want because you can't wrap it straight on, it's going to have to go at an angle. Let's see like that. Leave yourself a tail at the beginning. So you're going to come back and glue that down. Oop. Okay, so got your glue ready. You're going to leave yourself a tail over this metal part, you're not going to be able to glue to begin with. So you're going to run a little bit of glue on the wood. And make sure you're wrapping at the right angle. going to do the first couple of turns to cover up that glue you put down. And then you're going to clamp it and let it dry. You just set that aside, spool attached, let it dry. Now for the washi tape, 
This one is pretty quick and easy. And you're also going to wrap this at an angle. On the outside of your hoop. It might take a second to figure out what the what a good angle is. The, thing, the good thing about washi tape is that it's flexible, so it, it turns and then when you press it, it lays flat. So again, you're going to leave a tail. You'll cut that off later. And you can wrap this right over the middle. And you want to try and keep your angle and keep your edges lined up. Because this stuff is pretty thin, you can see through it kind of. So if your design overlaps, you're going to see it. It's pretty easy to reposition. And then once you get going, it'll be easy breezy from there. And then you get the idea. You're just going to keep wrapping until you get to the other end. Okay, now, once you've finally gotten to the end, cut off a little excess, because you're gonna wanna slide it under the nut assembly so you can continue wrapping. And it doesn't have to be perfect. And then you'll use your scissors to cut off your excess tape stuff is not super sticky but it does stick well and it is flexible and I should tell you that it is paper tape so it tears easily so be careful don't pull too hard when you're wrapping there you go and then just tuck your ends in now you got a pretty pretty hoop All right, now back to the ribbon one. Hopefully this is dry. So this one is actually pretty easy. You're just gonna take your time, pay attention, and make sure you're lining up your edges like that and do Every second or third wrap, you'll put a little dot of glue there. So. So, turns out we have just enough ribbon to finish this one. I'm so happy that I don't have to trash it because I didn't have enough ribbon and this is already glued to the frame and yada yada. Anyway, so, I'm coming to the end of your wrap. I'm going to 
make sure that you glue the rest of these top wraps all the way. And then um, once you get to the metal part, you'll run a little bit of glue this away and this away just to make sure everything's nice and secure. I mean, really, that is the end of my spool. <laughs> like, I got so lucky with that. Okay. Now, before you worry about trimming or finishing off, you're going to pin that down again and wait for it to dry. You can finish doing this one, too. Uh, and a little bit of glue on this side. And a little bit of glue on this side wrap that beginning and then pin that in place too and then you know wait a good couple hours to finish it off you want to make sure that glue is secure before you trim your edges and um, rehoop your fabric there you go everything is dry, clip off your edges, and then So apparently I missed a little spot, but that's okay. I can touch it up with a little bit of black paint later. So you'll put it back in your hoop and tighten it down and finish it off as desired. So here's the painted one. That looks sharp. And here's the one with the washi tape, which is kind of goofy, but it's still fun. All right, um, I would love to see what you're doing with your hoops. Um, tag me on Instagram, uh, at HaxonDIY.